The transitional period of Sri Lanka spans from the end of the Kingdom of Palanarua, in 1236, to the start of the crisis of the 16th century. The period is characterized by the succession of capitals that followed the fall of the Palanarua Kingdom and the creation of the Jaffna Kingdom. <laughs> Jaffna Kingdom The Jaffna Kingdom, also known as Kingdom of Aryachakravarti came into existence after the invasion of Magga, who is said to have been from Kalinga, in South India. It was a tribute-paying feudatory region of the Pandyan Empire in modern South India in 1250, but it later became independent with the fragmentation of the Pandyan control. For a brief period, in the early and middle 14th century, it was an ascendant power in the island of Sri Lanka when all regional kingdoms accepted subordination. However, the kingdom was eventually overpowered by the rival Kote kingdom in around 1450. It was freed of Kote control in 1467. Its subsequent rulers directed their energies towards consolidating its economic potential by maximizing revenue from pearls and elephant exports and land revenue. It was less feudal than most of other regional kingdoms in the island of Sri Lanka of the same period. During this period, important local Tamil literature was produced and Hindu temples were built, including an academy for language advancement. The arrival of the Portuguese colonial power to the island of Sri Lanka in 1505, along with its strategic location in the Palk Strait of connecting all interior Sinhalese kingdoms to South India, created political problems. Many of its kings confronted and ultimately made peace with the Portuguese colonials. In 1617, Kankili II, a usurper to the throne, confronted the Portuguese but was defeated, bringing the kingdom's independent existence to an end in 1619. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom of Dambadenia. Dambadenia is an ancient capital of Sri Lanka. Four kings ruled from there, Vijayabahu III 1220 Parakamabahu II 1230 Vijayabahu IV 1270 and Bhuvanaikabahu I 1272 The first king to choose Dambadenia as his capital was Vijayabahu III. He was able to bring about unity among the Sangha who had scattered due to the hostile invasion of the Kalinga Magga. He also succeeded in holding a Buddhist convention in 1226 to bring about peace among the Buddhist clergy. King Parakamabahu II inherited the throne from Vijayabahu III. He was considered a genius who was a great poet and prolific writer. Among the books he wrote are Kasalumana, which is considered a great piece of literature. Unifying the three kingdoms that existed within Sri Lanka at that point in time is regarded as his greatest achievement. King Bosith Vijayabahu, as the eldest son of King Parakamabahu II, was crowned in 1270. He was well known for his modest behavior and for his religious activities. He was killed in the second year of his reign by a minister called Midtha. After the demise of his elder brother Vijayabahu, King Bhuvanaikabahu I, as the next in line to the throne, shifted the capital to Yapahua for reasons of security. He followed his father's footsteps as a writer and continued with the religious activities started by his brother Vijayabahu. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Kingdom of Gampola. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Kingdom of Kote. See also Mahavamsa Sinhala Kingdom List of Sinhalese monarchs <laughs>